Marilyn Bachman, the widow of former Amherst Fire Chief John Bachman, testified Monday about how she found her husband in front of their house lying in the snow on December 23rd of last year. I ran over to him and I could see that he was very badly hurt. He was bleeding in his head. <clears throat> And I had my cell phone in my pocket and I called 911. Prosecutors say Bachman was the victim of a hit and run while he was getting his mail on Merrimack Road in Amherst. Officials say the person driving that vehicle was 21 year old Travis Hobbs, who was texting at the time, causing something prosecutors called inattentive blindness. I can remember them, someone saying something about a car. Did you get hit by a car or something? And he kept, he kept saying truck. Hobbs faces three charges that include negligent homicide. During opening statements, prosecutor Rosemarie Balboni told the jury Bachman was knocked out of his shoes and Hobbs never hit the brakes or stopped the help. During the afternoon, the jury saw the scene that included the truck Hobbs was driving that afternoon and a cone to show where Bachman's body landed. But defense lawyers say Hobbs thought he hit a mailbox, not a person, and was swerving to miss an oncoming car at the time of the collision. They say when he saw a news report about a fatal hit and run, he realized what may have happened and went to police. And he accepted responsibility. This case isn't about acceptance or responsibility. This case is whether uh, your verdict determines him a criminal at the end of this trial. That's what it's all about. Testimony resumes again tomorrow morning. In Manchester, Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.